Hey vloggy friends, we are about to do another run of a million stops today. I'm going to go grocery shopping, but I have a bunch of places that I'm going to take you along with me. So why don't we get our day started right now? All right, vloggies, task number one is done. I had to go and pick up some house keys from a house in my neighborhood. Got that done. So, hey, we're already to the good. Like, task number one is done. And we're off to do some grocery shopping now. All right, I am on stop number two, which is not a grocery stop. I am at the Dollar Tree. It will open in like four minutes. And here's my situation with the Dollar Tree. Uh, I placed an order online for pickup in the store, which is cool. Have my receipt. I know it was charged, so I know it was shipped, but I don't know if it's actually there or not. So I'm going to go in and see if I can pick it up. And if I can pick it up, great. I'm good to go. I have my receipt and everything, like all the tools that I need for that. If, pardon me, if not, I'm going to just get like, um, one or two super glues because what I did is I ordered like a case pack of super glue because I need it for cash envelopes so um, that is what I'm doing here now but it doesn't open for another like five minutes however it's on the way to Dumas and it's 856 so it was 838 when I got to Dumas and I told you and I called they brought my stuff out I showed you the stuff and in fact I'm just gonna be up front with you. Actually, I didn't show you, I showed the um, grocery shopping vlog. I got, this is hard salami and it's so good. I've been eating it as a snack. And um, anyway, at 8.38, it was I, out, out. Oh, they let people in. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. <gasps> mm, mm. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop and chew and talk, which is rude, but we're friends like that so it'll be cool I know you're okay with it um got my stuff drove oh six or seven miles and I'm here at like 8 56 so everyone's going to the Dollar Tree it's like a rush on the Dollar Tree anyway mm. Mm. maybe it was employees they let in because someone's right outside the door. See, it was good. I just decided to finish my thought with you. So, yep, they look like employees. Good. So, I'm going to try and pick that up. And I will try to let you know on the way out if I was successful or not. Mmm. 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 That's so good. I, the salami from Dumas is, is just unbelievable good. It's salty and delicious. Are they opening the doors? I can't tell. Yeah, that didn't work out. Um, it's not here because I sent it to the other store, the one on Talmadge Avenue, which I do not like. <sighs> so, I did buy two things of super glue, two different kinds. I got, I got this kind, and I got this kind. I'm gonna see which one I like better. Um, just, just want my, my envelopes to stick shut. All right, we are at the post office. I have no idea if there'll be anything here, but that's what I gotta, well, it's not what I gotta do, but it needs to be checked every week, so. Let's see what we got. Every time I come in here, it reminds me, like, how short I am. Okay. Nothing today. I wish I had something to stick in there and get that dirt out from on the bottom because it's 
super dirty when you stick your hand in there, which is yucky. Thank you. All right, well that's stop one done. I think we're gonna go and wait for the library to open so I can do my returns, because that needs to happen today. It's getting warmer out. Let's see, I lost some of my yarny goodness. I'm here early, I'm here so early. The doors aren't open. Only minutes away though, see? 10 a.m., it's like 9.59. All right, I'm probably gonna run my battery into the ground. It's a long story, but my car is not charging my phone anymore like it was or should be, but I finally got to Michael's to get some supplies for my Etsy shop, specifically the right kind of cardstock for um, cash envelopes because it is a certain kind. I don't use cheap paper. I'm telling you, I don't use cheap paper, but the paper that I used happened to have been on sale and I got more than I had planned on, mostly because it just cost less. Um, and then I was in there and I'm like, man, my phone is gonna die soon. And I'm like, my mom gave me a paper coupon and I left them at the house. Like, and I was like, you know what? I have the Michaels app and um, I, I need to get that. Cause I know that a lot of times they'll put the coupons in the app for you and then you can use them. So I went in, I downloaded it again, I logged in, thank goodness I knew my login and password, I did not have to wrestle that, so got that done. So I used like the least amount of battery power possible to do that. Then I was in there looking and the, the lady that was um, checking me out, who is like uh, a young person, as in like not a middle-aged mom type, but like the college student-y kind of, you know, like she's an adult for sure. Um, but she's like, oh yeah, you can use your coupon. She she saw me with my phone and I said, I think I have coupons in the app. She goes, yes, you do. You can use this coupon. She goes, you can use the 40% off this one and you can use the 20% off. She says, we do the 40% off first because it'll take that off of your most expensive item. And then we do the 20%. Also, you can use that same one on this transaction. And it'll do it off the little, she was just like rattling off the coupons. And I was like, oh, I love you. And she's like, we'll scan this and we'll scan this and we'll scan this and we'll scan this. And she was so helpful and honest to Pete, I, number one, I bought all stuff that was on sale. Now I did buy some stuff. I have not a problem, not an addiction, but I have an intense desire and I am really, really enjoying, uh, there is another YouTuber that we share kind of planner stuff like when i say we share i mean like an interest in that and um i had got some stuff and like for me like in the clearance section and there was so much of it like i never would have used it all so i halved it with her i halved it and i sent the other half to her and another thing that I found that she had specifically wanted it was it's broken over it I'm sure you probably know that but um if you don't if you're not watching broken over it you can watch her mail call where she got her stuff I just for some reason I find stuff that goes to her planner for clearance in my in my Michaels and I feel like it just brings joy to my soul to buy it and send it to her it really does and I found some stuff for the Recollections Planner. It was 99 cents, and I'm gonna send it to her. So it's a couple things that were 99 cents. It wasn't just one thing. But, and typically I like save up and um, send it like in a little, in a padded envelope is usually what I do. But I am like so excited to share stuff with her and it's like I'm not telling you this because I'm like want to be like oh look she's so generous and she's so I'm just telling you because I'm generally excited that I found stuff that I get to send to her it makes me it just makes me so happy to do that like it sparks joy in my soul to share with her it does um so I spent $25, 24 something. I got three big packs of paper for cash envelopes. They were all like 70% off, which was great. Um, then I got candle wicks for my candle, which you'll have to remind me if I don't show you today or tomorrow, you need to be like, hey girl, show us that. Um, I have finally figured out how, how to 
efficiently and pretty cleanly recycle all of the bottom wax in my candles using a coffee um, hot plate, like a hot plate for your coffee cup. Some people would just call them a candle warmer. This is specifically for coffee, but it's the same thing. Just anyway, um, I figured out how to do that and I have like this big beautiful jar candle and I just don't have wicks for it. And it's like I totally could fill it up with all this like excess wax. Bang, I got that. I'm pretty sure that's the thing that got the 40% off. So I got that at like half price. It was like $4. So I'm sure I paid like $2.25 or something for it. But um, I'm very excited to get that. So that's going to be a project that I do this week. Hopefully I will remember to vlog it for you. I just had a really good experience at Michael's. And it's Michael's on Howe Avenue. If Michael's, in case you're watching on Howe Avenue, I don't know the store number offhand, but they were really wonderful. Got the receipt out. It's Michael's number 4507. They just did me really well. Wix and Clips, sure enough, I got $1.60 off of that. So I paid $2.39, pretty darn close for that. And then I got uh, $4.15 off my total order. So uh, $24.53, I did so good. Oh, there's coupons. I got this 40% off one regular price item. Good times. And there's something else here. Oh, and then 25% off a regular price purchase. Ooh, a survey. I may have to, I do, I generally do those. Usually my mom, cause she's like the Michael shopper. She gets a lot of um, like, I call it knitting infrastructure. She gets needles and um, hoop circles, like the, the connecting things so that she can make circle hats and stuff like that. At, usually at Michael's cause you have to get different sizes and she needs different sizes. She needs this size hoop circle with this size needle and it's like a medallion combination. So typically she comes in and gets those here and usually it's always with a coupon. So, um, and she'll get yarn here too as well for um, the hats that we do in the shop. And, and actually we've been getting some of the chunky snood yarn here too because we can get it with a coupon. It makes it very affordable. So, um, I'm feeling so chatty today. I feel really, I feel good is what it is. I just spent three days fasting, 72 hours, and always whenever I fast, it just, it like opens every, it just blows out the, uh, the crap from your body. It just, it, it clears all the, the junk. It like gives your body time to, to, rest and recuperate from the process of digestion it's like so much energy is taken up by digestion so it it, it allows it to finish digesting everything that's in your system before it has to start digesting new stuff and it it promotes autophagy which is cell turnover so the the cell cells that are failing or not working properly or old it kills them off and creates new cells to replace them. So it just allows you to like reduce inflammation, get healthier, it just is great. And then also like you run on super high levels of ketones, which your brain can immediately use. So you're like, Wah. your brain just is working. It's firing like on all cylinders. You have no brain fog, you're not tired. You you switch over to fat burning, which I have, uh, let's just say I got some in reserves. It's always available so you never run out of fuel for your body it just I feel always so good afterwards so good and I just I'm never sorry that I've done it I don't know that I want to do three days again but I do like the every other day fasting it just works really well for my body um, so also Walgreens recently even maybe today that I'm filming has their vitamin stuff on sale and typically either once or twice a year I go in and spend like $80 and get vitamin stuff the super B complex which is my favorite from sundown naturals it's the one that works for me I've tried other brands they don't work as well for me but this one man it's like I can take that and it's like I'm awake I'm functional I can cope with everything let's get it done it's like boom 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 everything just falls into order for me and I can function and I and I have the energy to do stuff like mop um, I got vitamin D as well 
and I know that you have to have vitamin, you have to have fat in your system, like you have to consume fat when you take your vitamin D. So I got that. I've been taking my vitamin D, and I think that like it's. I mean, you can see it's like it's cloudy. It, there is no. I mean, it's sunny, but it's not like real sun. Also, you know, in the winter time, especially in the northern states, you are covered up. Look, I'm, I mean, I'm covered up as a lot. So you don't have as much skin exposed to the sun. So your body isn't making as much vitamin D. And, you know, like 90% of the people in the United States are actually vitamin D deficient. So um, I've been taking some extra vitamin D and I feel like that is very helpful it's you also will you will actually just feel better when you take vitamin D because your body just needs it so much you can take like mega doses and it and it's just good for your body um, I also got more magnesium because we just I take that all the time because it's another thing that most people are deficient in and um, uh, a lot of times on the ketogenic diet people are like, well, hey, you need to take this. But I also know when before I was on a ketogenic diet, when I was running a lot, like when I was marathon training, because I did that, um, there all the time, they were saying you need to take magnesium, you need to take magnesium. So I don't believe that it's just because of the ketogenic diet that I need magnesium. I think it's just because people need magnesium. They're not getting enough. Because in the olden days, people used to get it from their water in creeks and you know, like fresh running water, it was full of trace minerals like magnesium and potassium and some other stuff. But we filter all that stuff out now in our bottled water and our um, city water and things like that. So we just don't get it in that way. So we need more. So anyway, so I loaded up on a couple of those things. So I'm just feeling a lot better in general. I, I just so much better. And you know what I'm seeing? I look even thinner. This this little disc of porkiness right here, it's it's getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> even when I film at an angle that is essentially right here, not from above, it looks so much better. That extra chin going away. All right, so I've spent a lot of time talking to you because I'm excited about it. I'm going to head home. So this isn't going to be as organized as my other hauls, but these are the things that I got at Michael's today for my non-grocery stuff for my blog friends to see. I got this, which is a note sticky note pad, and I got four of these guys. Oh, and then these are essentially magnets that you put at the top of your pages so that you can find them easily, and they were a dollar each. I got a set for me and a set for my friend because. I just feel like it is the joy of my life to be able to find good things on sale and share them with people. This was $2, but I had a 40% off coupon, so I think I paid $2.78 for these. These are the wicks that I was talking about for my candle. They're 9 inches tall. This was $3.99, and I paid, I paid $2.39 for those, and I'm sorry, I didn't get any discount off of these. They were just part of my um, total purchase, which I got. Uh, now I got some paper, some heavy cardstock for making cash envelopes out of. Oh, these are really pretty. Um, this is the gold foil one, which is the best one ever. And these were on sale, which is why I was lucky enough to get hold of them. So these have a couple foil options. All oh, these are really pretty. So. be making cash envelopes out of these for my shop for my Etsy shop now for Michaels I'm gonna go ahead and try and show it to you here now what I got this was the wick and clips which is this item $2.39 and I got four dollars off everything else so I might get charged twice for this one for these little cups. Hmm, I think it did. These mini clips. Hmm, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so I spent $24.53. Now at Dollar Tree, 
these are the two adhesives that I'm going to be trying for my envelopes. Mostly I got these because they're just larger than the other regular super glue ones that I had. So $2.14 for these guys. So that was my non-grocery portion of the haul that I'm sharing with my vloggies exclusively. Some of these, like this is a raw chicken breast with some butter in it and a little bit of oil so that I can just put this in the oven and let it cook. You got a pony, good times. And then I made two of these snack packs, which are pickles and a boiled egg, which needs to still be peeled. So I got two of those. Good times. I got this and then... Uh, one, two, three more, and they are Brussels sprouts. I quartered them, salted, and peppered them. And again, these are also meant to be able to. You gotta stop doing that. You cannot throw your pony up in the air in the kitchen. Um, but there, like I said, there's four of these, but they are meant also to be put into the oven. But because meat takes a different amount of time to cook than this, I put them in separate containers. So again, I have four of the Brussels sprouts and they are worked, are measured out so that they're essentially five carbs each. So that's cool. And then over here, I have uh, a meal and this is kind of a reheatable meal. It, again, all of these are intended to be put in the oven because they're in glass containers with the exception of these snack packs. Those are not intended to be in the oven. But this is the last piece of ham cut up, and this is some shredded zucchini that did not fit in the zucchini tops. So the idea is to put everything in the oven and let this fat melt on that and cook the zucchini and crisp up and melt some of this extra fat on the ham. And then over here, all of these, with the exception of this one because he's a single, is three chicken wings so that I can, again, bake them up in a delicious crispiness so I got one two three four five of those and again they're all the same just in separate containers so this is my little meal prep for me for what will probably be most of the week except for these snacky guys I will probably have to make some more of those so if I do one of those a day but that's the, the update on what I've been doing I have them all loaded in and you can see in the way back there I have a ton of them and they are hiding that ham right there but that is a big deal to get done so that job's done and I guess we'll see what we can do with stuff other stuff later. <laughs> 